So through, through Provident, the kids get to go out and experience things, meet, meet together, which is important, but also go gliding, snorkeling, caving, and um, various things at institutes of sport. They can work on things like that. But when they're not at, at, on the camps, they're working on their own in the room, usually with computers, three computers and whiteboard. And they look at um, topics like the debate, um, is surrogate mother good man for mankind, for the reproduction, or um, some of the kids were going skiing, so we, and Rupehu was on alert level one, so how they keep safe from the laha. Um, tsunamis, how can we, is our town prepared for a tsunami? And that was really good, especially after the Boxing Day ones. Um, so it's all stuff that's really relevant to them, and it's better than us lecturing them on it and they find out for themselves in a, in a context that's relevant to them. The next challenge um, that faced us with Problet working so well was to try and bring this to regular kids. Um, through Problet we had to do lots of our own learning, like we have to go through the internet and find our own answers. Um, we don't just get given everything, so it encourages, uh, encourages us to use our brains a lot more. And I enjoy just the freedom and being able to learn, like focus on the parts that we enjoy especially. Like with sports science I enjoyed looking at how the body works and then others enjoyed looking at how their muscles develop more. Uh, doing probably is great for your learning. Um, in a lot, of, a lot of the classrooms, you know, you just get a worksheet, but um, probably you get to find it out for yourself. So for me, that was pretty cool. Crest came up, which was Creativity in Science and Technology, run by the Royal Society, and the scheme involves um, students going from bronze to silver to gold awards. Um, the school's got a very good record there, better than many other schools in the country. The kids basically follow their own passion there, and it's really important they're allowed to do that. Um, so kids have a very wide range of, of subjects they study. We jack up their support from consultants all around the country, a lot of them from within the Waikato area who've been awesome. We're doing a Team Silver Crest project together and we're doing it on um, early elective once a day milking and whether it's a viable option. Um, we're going to be testing cow health and economics and indications of those will be um, body condition score, um, ease of carving, production and cell count. Well we did our bronze and silver crest together yeah. and um, he was our supervising teacher for that as well and really helped us to understand like the science process, yeah. um, how if, to do a science fair sort of thing. If Dr Lowe wasn't here we wouldn't have done, I don't think we would have gone as far as we have. Yeah. He's been really supportive and lots of guidance throughout the whole thing. And he knows a lot of people which is yeah. uh, really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.